guys, welcome back to Cooking with Loki. This time we're going to change it up a little bit. We're not going to show you everything. We're not trying to keep secrets, but as you guys know, the camera is on its last legs. So, what you are going to do to make Loki's winner winner chicken dinner, watch us get sued by at least 30 celebrity chefs, um, is you're going to take baking powder. I said soda on the the first take. I was wrong. Baking powder and flour, and you're going to mix this together with some sugar and some spices. Spice this up the way you want. In fact, if you have a recipe for your favorite powder to cook chicken with, you do you. Um, you know, take that and you're put it in a Ziploc bag, and you're going to set that aside. You're going to heat your oven to 400, and you're going to get out your cast iron. You're going to put enough oil in the cast iron to coat the bottom you don't need enough to burn your house down but you don't want to be stingy either you're you're just going to have to find a happy medium and you'll learn the longer you cook with cast iron you know what's going to work for you so you're going to do that and as the oven is heating up you can go ahead and drain a big can of chicken i've tried smaller cans and the chunks are just way too tiny and they vaporize and you have a shell with crunchy chicken inside so you need a bigger can of chicken, whatever brand's your favorite, you know, big old can. And you're going to drain that, and there's going to be schmaltz or chicken fat in there. You're going to put that with your oil, and by the time the oven is ready, that's going to kind of melt into your oil, and you're going to spread it around. So you've got that going on. Wait until your oven hits for 100. I can't emphasize this enough, because doing this method, you will get a brick of chicken if you do it too early. Once the oven hits 400, you're going to take the canned chicken out of the can, and you can have kept it in the fridge before now, it seems to help. And you're going to put it into your flour, your plastic bag filled with all the flour, you know, all the coating, whatever you have. And you're going to shake, shake, shake it up until it's all coated. Now you can get fancy, and you can, like, take it out a little bit at a time. Or you can put the whole shebang into your, your pan. As long as you didn't get left with a ton of flour behind, a little bit of flour isn't going to hurt your pan. So you're going to put your pan skillet, whichever you're using. You're going to put it into your oven, and you're going to cook this chicken for 15 minutes the first side, then 15 minutes the second side. I actually like a lighter golden brown in chicken. I know there are people that will disagree. They like it a deep, dark, brown, you know, deep, dark golden brown. I like kind of that lighter color you see on most of this chicken. And as you can see, um, sometimes this batter wants to play nice and stay on. And sometimes it's like, ah, I'm going to fall off. It usually does stay on. Now, the main problem with doing this with canned chicken is it can get a little dry so it depends you're going to kind of experiment on your own find a happy medium this was good enough for us to make for you know a meal night for the family but if i was going to enter it in a contest or something i think we would finesse it a little more but this at least has better on it it, it, it goldened up pretty well uh, it was a half baked. So, you know, we won't want to do any more time because at 15 minutes each side, you're already cooking it for a half hour. And I think it's up to 40 minutes when you work with regular chicken, you know, that isn't cooked yet. So you do want to watch to try not to dry it out. So it is a challenge, but I think we did pretty good with it. It is super tasty. Why we call it, um, we used to call it Icebox Chicken before Loki came up with the new name, is that... We take it, and we actually take it out of the pan, that lovely hot chicken, and we put it in a bowl, and we put it in the fridge, and we let it cool for a couple hours. I don't know why, but there is nothing better than cold chicken. It's like the most delicious thing. So this has cooled in the fridge for a couple hours, and it's lovely, and it tastes so much better to me than hot chicken. I don't know where I picked that up from, but I love it. There's nothing better than, you know, cold chicken the next day, or you know, a couple hours after you've cooked it, uh, threw some French's fried onions in there. No, they do not pay me to say that, but we figure we bring it to you. I'm not, you know, a thousand percent happy with this recipe, but, you know, it's edible. It actually tastes pretty good. And it's, you know, it's a success as far as we got the batter. And if we push it too much towards, you know, a little longer bake time to get it even darker, uh, I think you're going to dry out the chicken too much. But, you know, if you bake more with um, in the oven with me with cast iron, feel free to leave your comments below. Be nice. 
and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.